Now let's take this DC control into WPF application and host it in WPF. So what I'm going to do in this solution, I'm going to add a new project, which is going to be a WPF application. Let's name this WPF application as app for hosting WinForm control and let's click on create. Now every control in WPF we have always added in the XAML itself. Will we be able to add the data control directly over here? We won't be. The reason behind that this schema for WPF controls, it doesn't know what exactly data control is and from where to refer it. So just like we referred for animation user control, some sort of XML namespace in the window hosted XAML itself, just like that we need to convey here that so and so namespace comes from so and so DLL. So for doing that, what I have to do first is I'll have to add a reference to Windows Forms application. So I'm going to add a reference to our DC control library. So by default in the current projects solution itself, we have one library called as data control library. Either you refer it from the project solution itself or you can simply browse and refer the DLL path. I'm going to click on OK now. And now you will see the data control library is added into the WPF application. So I'm going to set this as a startup project. By default, only library is added, nothing else as of now. So we have got certain references and one analyzer here. So all in all, we have components added over here. So now what we need to do is just like we used element host for hosting WPF control into Windows form. Now it's a reverse thing. So we are going to host WinForm control into WPF. Rendering logic for WinForm is different and rendering logic for WPF is different. So just like element host, when you take your window form control into WPF, what you have to do is you will have to have another container over here. Now that container is going to be Windows host container. So you can't have your DC control directly added in window or a grid or a stack panel. For that purpose, what you have to do is you have to make a provision for hosting that control. And that is something which you will find out in common controls here. Sorry, in Windows form controls here, search for something called as WinForm host. Now what I'm going to do is either you drag and drop it or you can simply type it. If I just drag and drop it, the WinForm control or WinForm host over here, you will notice that there will be certain other DLLs added automatically. So there is a system.drawing, there is system.windows.forms which wasn't there earlier. There is a UI automation provider and Windows Forms integration library. Keep it in mind, this Windows Forms integration library was also there in case of element host. So you will find out Kind of you can say libraries which are important for rendering the WinForm control in WPF are added once you drag and drop or add reference to Windows Forms host. Okay, this is the container when we are going to want put down our content. So Windows Forms host is a container. I'm just going to provide same height and width as that of the window itself. And then WinForm host is going to have something which is called as a child element now just like element host had a child. And this time we need to add the DC control. Again, one more time for DC control purpose, we haven't conveyed to WPF schema yet that DC control comes from so and so assembly and so and so namespace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up here XML namespace. Let's name it as DC control namespace. And then we will specify here the DC control or data control library reference. So right now we are going to convey whenever somebody refers DC control NS in the XAML, please refer to data control namespace in the assembly called as data control .dll. So how do I use it? You just have to specify the DC control NS and you can simply pick up your DC control over here. And now what you can do is you can name if you want this particular control. So I'm going to just name it as my DC control or my DC in this case. Now I have not provided any kind of a other details to it. It will take its own size, width, height 
accordingly. So now that I have added a window form control into WPF using WinForm host, I'm going to run this WPF application just to show you that how easy it is to host existing WinForm control into WPF. So let's run this project now and see whether we get the data and the grid. So here you go. This is kind of WPF application which is hosting a WinForm control and right now we can see the data that we added sometime back into the UI. So it's very easy to deal with interoperability between WinForm and WPF.